So now we want to get ready for our tests and using Selenium. So the first thing I'm going to do is just delete the stuff that Maven created for us. So I'm going to delete this application. I don't need a, a main class at the moment. I'm not interested in this, so I'm just going to delete this file. Now all I really want is delete the file. I don't care about the impact. So I'm doing that. Now in the test, I don't really need all this stuff. So I am going to create a simple test because we're going to expand on that. But I want to use the JUnit 4 style rather than the JUnit 3 style. So let me get rid of this. Let's get rid of all this and start again. Well, let's get rid of this. Let's and what we do in order to make it a test in JUnit 4, we add the annotation. We're going to get this at test annotation from JUnit. It's picked up that that's in our POMs, that's one of our dependencies, so we can use it. Then IntelliJ has still got the old stuff there, let's get rid of that. Alt Enter for the code completion, and I want to statically import the method, and I want the one from JUnit Framework. done the correct import. Gonna get rid of that. This should be good to go. I think I'll have a that's better thank you. So again that was just all enter for the code completion and tidying up. Now I'm gonna run the test from here using the Maven plugin. But just to make it clear, I'm going to run the test from here. The like right click run test app. You can see it running as a JUnit test. Everything looks good to go. And next we're going to add Selenium into the build. 